Israel-Gaza Iran War News Live Update Hungary's EU presidency will boost Israel relations. Katz said the Hungarian presidency provides a unique chance to boost Israel's EU status. Israel's foreign minister Israel Katz said during a visit to Hungary, the Jewish state's staunch European partner, that Hungary's July EU Council presidency will boost relations. Katz stated, the era of the Hungarian presidency is an unparalleled chance to boost Israel's standing in the European Union, despite the plots EU foreign policy chief Josep Borrell has sought to promote against us. Last year, Spain and Belgium, two countries at odds with Israel over the Gaza war and Israeli-Palestinian conflict, helped the rotating six-month EU Council presidency. Hungary takes over as EU member states ask for a review of the EU-Israel Association Agreement in light of the Gaza war to influence the IDF's military effort against Hamas. The accord outlines Israel-EU relations, which countries unhappy by the IDF's Gaza actions have threatened to impair. Hungary will likely oppose those measures. Katz said Hungary will hold an EU-Israel Association Council meeting. Katz met with Hungarian Foreign Minister Peter Sajardo on Monday and invited Israel. Two years have passed since this council met. Against Iran Alliance Katz also expected Hungary to support the EU against Iran. Hungary's union leadership can maintain sanctions against Iran's nuclear weapons program. To avoid war, the Union, U.S., and other nations must stand against Iran, he added. The UN Agency for Palestinian Refugees claims nothing has changed since the Israeli military declared tactical pauses in confrontations along a road in Rafah. On Monday, UNRWA Chief Philippe Lotsarini claimed, operationally nothing has changed in southern Gaza. Israel planned daylight halts from the Karam Abu Salem land crossing to the Sulla Aden Highway, a vital north-south artery. Benjamin Netanyahu disliked the military pause plan. He called it unacceptable over the weekend. Since Israel's military entered the city in early May, hundreds of thousands of Palestinians have fled. In other statements, Lotsarini stated UNRWA has funds until July, but the future is undetermined. The UNRWA chief warned of a silent war in the occupied West Bank. Israel transformed Gaza into hell on earth, UN official. Separately, UN Undersecretary General for Humanitarian Affairs and Emergency Relief Coordinator Martin Griffiths called the besieged Palestinian region hell on earth after Israeli airstrikes since October 7. Griffiths said it was nearly hard to send humanitarian goods to Gazans facing starvation. The UN official claimed the regime received weaponry from the US and other sponsors despite Palestinian suffering. Israeli forces killed at least nine Palestinians, including five children, in the latest strike on a residential structure in Burij refugee camp in central Gaza. In Zarqa, north of Gaza City, Israeli fighter jets hit a house, killing at least two individuals. Palestinian health officials report two Israeli atrocities in the past day, killing at least 10 civilians and injuring over 70. Since early October, Israel has killed 37,300 Palestinians, including 16,000 children.